An atmosphere of hate has been developing in this country over the last few years. A lot of it is emanating from Washington, and it's having an effect on all of Wait, us. Wait, so you're saying you're blaming the president by saying it's coming from Washington? I'm saying, but we have to be clear. We need a different tone starting in Washington, okay, which so we had, by the way, with Democrats and Republicans both in the White House, that encouraged this country to actually find some unity and some common ground. We okay. haven't had that for the last few Let's years. Talk that was New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio yesterday with our own Ed Henry. He pressed him on it, this culture in Washington. What could he be referring to? Mm -hmm. Let's bring in Dan Bongino, Fox News contributor, former Secret Service agent, former NYPD officer. Dan, good morning. Thanks for being here. Happy New Year. When you look at what happened in, in New York, the attack over Hanukkah, and then you look at the mayor's response, the governor's response, he, they always step back and talk about a culture of hate, referring to others and what must be done, never taking responsibility. Your reaction to it? You know, Pete, the, the death of our country here and the real cancer in our country is this disgusting, uh, repulsive, grotesque uh, impulse on, on the left to immediately jump to political and political maneuvering after some of the worst horrific tragedies we could imagine in this country. We've seen it. I don't even need to repeat them. We've seen it over and over. The audience knows exactly what I'm talking about. Yesterday, the actions by de Blasio, let me throw Cuomo in there, too, although he, was, he tried to dog whistle and be a little more uh, cute about it. Uh, really, these are repulsive human beings. We had the governor talking about making inferences. He was, of course, he was trying to talk about Donald Trump and American cancer eating yep. away the side. You know what? Anti-Semitism is an American cancer. But that's not what Andrew Cuomo was talking about. He was clearly making references to Donald Trump. Then we had Bill de Blasio, one of the most repulsive politicians anywhere in the country, just directly come out with her own Ed Henry um, and say it. Think about this. We had our citizens, these are our people, innocent human beings, nearly hacked to death with a machete, something you'd hear about literally in a horror movie, happened in real life. And your first instinct as a political air quotes leader is to blame Donald Trump. Yeah, the same guy who moved the embassy to Jerusalem, who has been an outspoken advocate for religious liberty, the same guy who's been an outspoken opponent of the BDS movement, an outspoken opponent of anti-Semitism, that was your first impulse? You're really disgusting and an awful person, and it's be precisely because of people like you that the world is worse off today. Well, it's also weird. I mean, Donald Trump, President Donald Trump has Jewish people in his family. His daughter converted. He has grandkids who are Jewish. It just makes no sense how they can actually put these forward, uh, these arguments forward and, and have any credibility in her that it even has any traction. Rachel, Bill de Blasio is not a stupid man. And believe me, it pains me to say that. Because if he was dumb, you could just talk it up to low IQ and ignorance. What's worse is de Blasio knows what you just said is true. That Donald Trump is not only obviously, obviously not anti-Semitic, unless you're an idiot. Donald Trump has been an open advocate and supporter of defending the Jewish community. I, he, he knows this, de Blasio. Think about that. And he did it anyway in a time of national crisis, in this horrible attack. His first impulse was to try to turn it around yeah. to gain political advantage for himself by going after the president of the United States. I'm telling you, it was one of the most repulsive things I've seen in a long time. And it will be the death of us in this country if this continues. Well, the irony, Dan, we had Dove Hyken on earlier that said these Orthodox communities who are being targeted love the president. So the <laughs> irony of saying it it's the president's fault that they're being targeted. Uh, you, you can't make it up. But I got to go to another story in North Texas. There was a church there. A gunman entered and opened fire at, at those uh, giving communion, tried to shoot at the pastor. But within seconds, members of the church with their own weapons engaged the shooter and killed yeah. them. Talk about the importance of the Second Amendment, not just in North Texas, but around the country when we face threats. You know, Pete, after 12 years in the Secret Service and four years with the NYPD carrying a firearm, there was a reason we, kept, we protected presidents of the United States, whether I, I was on Barack Obama's detail, worked with, uh, you know, Hillary Clinton when she was the First Lady, uh, Barack Obama and, uh, and George W. Bush as well. There's a reason we carried firearms. And the reason is bad guys with guns want to do bad things with guns. And the only thing that's going to stop a bad guy with malicious intent with a firearm is a good guy with a firearm to stop said bad guy. Now, 
I know this is hard for people who don't think logically and, again, want to score political points rather than keep people safe, but anybody telling you otherwise is literally putting your life in danger. These people who show up with these firearms are killers. They are criminals. This guy who showed up in the church, this maniac with a shotgun, killed someone at point-blank range with a shotgun. What do you think he was there to do, to chat? What do you think was going to stop it? Foul language? What was going to stop it? Attempt to negotiate? Hey, pal, if you just put the gun down, you're dead next. The only thing that stops them were these brave, and my hat's off to you. God bless these patriots and these brave. You have my deepest respect today. You have any idea how hard that is to do what they did so and true. to think and act so clearly in a time of crisis? I know agents and cop friends of mine that have trained for years, years, that still might have a tough time doing that. That was incredible, and yeah. that is the golden rule. The only thing that's going to stop these people is a good guy with a gun, and you are crazy if you're telling people otherwise. These people are there to kill. They will only be stopped by some brave person willing to stop them with a firearm of his own. Yeah, those people sure. were unbelievable. They did, yeah. in, in, in that moment where you have to act, they really did a heck of a job. Well said, Dan. What, real quick, uh, you got any predictions for 2020? Yeah, three predictions. So on a lighter note, sports, the Yankees will win the World Series. Gary oh, Cole, on. huge signing. Whoa. Polit I, I, listen, I'm just calling it like it is, fellas. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't, politics, uh, the Democrat, you will have defections uh, on the Democrat side with impeachment. And science, you will see some major breakthroughs, I hope and pray, in cancer with AI and uh, gene therapy. So we'll see if I'm right on those good three predictions. Good, but positive I can tell you, I think predictions. the Yankees, what is right? I Very hope, good and what's positive. Right. There's been some great and initial news on the cancer front. You're Totally right. I hope you're right on that. Uh, as far as impeachment, do you have a name of, of another Democrat that you think might defect? I think, uh, uh, what's his name, Doug Jones from Alabama, and I think Manchin as well. Uh, listen, I, I don't see any way these guys, if they're looking to run again, get reelected by voting uh, to convict on a fake charge that doesn't exist. I don't see any chance. This impeachment thing has been a disaster. Anyone telling you otherwise is crazy on the Democrat side. It's been an abomination for them at the polls. It sure hasn't worked out the way they predicted. No, it hasn't. Good well, predictions there. Good <laughs> predictions. <laughs> and that's two of your predictions. And, and good two. job, by sure. the way, on the, on the Bongino report. First thing I look at in the morning. Oh, now. thank you. Great thank job. Thank you. We put a lot of work into. Wait, wait, Dean. What prediction do you not agree? You no, can't no, throw on, that on out there. Dodgers. 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 On behalf of Dean and Dodgers. Rachel and all of America, Dan, no one hopes the Yankees are winning the World Series. <laughs> uh, I'm just, listen, I'm, I'm just, just calling it like it is, man. <laughs> Balls and strikes. Dan, you're the man. You thank it, you very man. much. Thanks.